Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding drop type 1 orders for customers with type 0 orders and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium type. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called orders with three different columns, order ID, customer ID, and the type of order. And the data type for all these columns are integer. Order ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the ID of an order, the ID of the customer who ordered it, and the type of the order. And the orders could be of two types, zero or one. Now, we are asked to write a SQL query based on the following. If a customer has at least one order of type 0, so we do not need to report any order of type 1 from that customer. So basically, if a customer has 0 and 1, so you don't need to report 1. You only report 0 or all the orders that were of type 0. If it is not the case, report all the orders. If it is not the case, what does this mean? So basically, if since there can only be two types of orders, type 0 and type 1, if there is no type 0 for a particular customer, then all we need to return is type 1. The order of the result does not matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this example, right? So these are the various data points that we are given with the values in three different columns. And then what should be the output? The output should be based on two, two things. If for a particular customer, if there is an order type 0 and 1, so we do not report the 1 part. So for example, let's see the first two rows, right? So for customer ID 1, both of the orders were of type 0. So we report both of these. For customer ID 2, since there is at least one order of type 0 so we don't report the fourth line right so we don't report the or we do not output the order type 1 so this row only will be out in the output similarly for order type for customer id 3 0 as well as 1 so we do not report this one and for customer id 4 since there is no order type of 1 so we re report the both ones right so if you see that is what it is being returned for 4 we are returning both of them for one since there was no one so we return both of them for two and three since there was an order type one with at least one order of type zero as well so we don't report the ones okay so just think about how will a human being solve this problem right so let's say i am given a this uh, data sheet right with three different columns and i am told the criteria that okay if for a particular customer you have at least one order uh, type zero so you don't report any order type one for that particular customer and if it's not the case then you uh, return everything right so what will i do will I, I will you know take a pencil and i will see okay so which of these uh, should be reported right so i will take oh, okay for customer id one i check oh so since there is uh, order type zero and there is no order type one so both of these would be reported similarly for two okay so we don't need to report this for three we don't need to report this and for four we need to report all these things right so basically what i'm trying to do here is trying to identify the rows that can be uh, in the output, right? So how will SQL understand that? So basically, if we can add a fourth column here, uh, which says, okay, so we need to have this row, this row, this row, not this, not this, this row, yes, yes, right? So, so something like that, something that can identify which of the rows we should uh, out in, put in the output section, right? So that is what we need to do. Now, since the criteria mentions something about order type 0, right? So basically, we need to find that for each of the customer ID, whether there was any order of type 0, right? So since there can only be two types of order, 0 and 1, and 0 is the least amount, right? So basically, if we can, you know, use a window function to 
you know partition by customer ids and try to find out the minimum value of the order type for that particular customer right because if there is any uh, order of type 0 then we don't need to return anything that is of type uh, type 1 right order type 1 so what we can do is we can add a minimum value column here to identify what was the minimum order type for a particular customer right so let's start developing the query so from this table called orders what do we do we return everything like we need all these three different columns we are just adding a fourth column right so we return all the columns and then we create a new column where we firstly since we are writing a window function then we need to use the over clause so over then we partition by which column customer id right why are we partitioning by customer id because it mentions if a customer has at least one of order type so do not report any order of type one from that customer so we need to identify for each of the customers uh, what is the minimum value of order type right so we partition by customer id and then we find the minimum value in which column order type right so we find that and then we can alias this entire thing as let's say whatever minimum order type right and this so what will this return right so let me just you know copy paste this and try to show you what will this basically return so here the fourth column will be min order type and since uh, for the first customer so since they are uh, it is creating partitions so for these two rows will be in one partition minimum of 0 and 0 is 0 right so 0 0 this was first partition so second partition third partition fourth partition right now for this partition minimum of 0 and 1 so again 0 0 right for this partition, minimum of 1 and 0, again 0, 0. And now for the last partition, minimum of 1 and 1 is basically 1, right? So now this is what will happen. So let's store this entire thing in a common table expression. So how do we write a common table expression? We start with with keyword. We write the name of the common table expression you can write anything i just try to abbreviate it with the initials so with cte we write the as keyword and then we put the entire query in parenthesis okay so now basically what is so this entire four column and all these rows is basically now a common table expression called cte right now what do we need to do we need to identify which of these rows we need to enter right so now for each of the customer ids we know the minimum order type of it right so based on the minimum order type and that per and that particular order type how do we come up with a solution or how do we use these two columns to basically identify which of these rows should be in the output and which shouldn't be right say if we do the multiplication right so let's say we multiply order type and minimum order type so if you do zero cross zero so all these entire thing will be zero right so one and one and then we say where uh, you know the multiplication of these two columns is not zero now that is a problem because not zero means the multiplication of these two rows will be one and they they won't be included in the final output but you see if the final output includes these right so you cannot do that so multiplication is out of the picture let's go with addition right so let's say we add this so 0 0 0 0 0 0 so basically the entire thing will be 0 0 0 here it would be 1 here it would be 1 here it would be 0 again 2 2 right so basically there are only three values the addition can take right zero one or two 
right now again one it can only take in such cases where the order type was one but the minimum order type was zero it cannot be the case that it's zero here and one here because obviously if a customer has an order type of zero then the minimum order type is going to be zero right so it cannot be the reverse case so since if, now if, if you if you think about it we have identified a unique solution to this right see when we added this right so let me just you know have the uh, have another column right so let's say it is called sum right sum of these two columns uh, so here when we add it is zero zero right then again it is zero here it is one again one zero two and two right so it can only take the sum value can only take these two three call these three values right zero one or two so what does zero mean right when the sum is zero what does it mean it is a order type zero where the minimum order type was zero and we need to return those right so it means the same what does one mean one means basically this row is a order type one but this customer has the minimum order type or it has at least one order where the order type was zero and we don't need to return such rows right so these this row and same this row right we don't need to return this and this these rows are not in the output if you see right here it says this row is a type or order type one and this uh, customer didn't have any order where the type where the type was zero so basically the minimum order type was one right so we need to return this so you see now based on this sum column we have identified that if we return all the rows where the sum of order type and minimum order type is not equal to one then basically we are getting the output right because one what does one mean in this case is that that particular order type is of type one but that customer had at least one order where the type was zero and based on this condition we need to exclude those right so if a customer had at least one order of type zero do not report any order of type one from that customer so you see we have identified this so now what do we need to do is basically so remember these four columns were are now being called cte so from cte we are only going to keep such rows where the order type plus the minimum order type is not equal to what one right and then the output should have what all columns order id customer id order type right so we return order id customer id and order type right and the order of the result does not matter so it looks good so you see that is how we come up with the solution this looks good let me just remove this entire thing and let's go ahead and run this so okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and sum it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is a success it passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this question right so you see directly if you wanted to you know come up with a, a where clause right from this orders table then it might have been difficult or you would have to do a lot of you know nested queries or things like that right but this is one of the you know logical way how you can go step by step 
and try to do it right so yeah this is how we can this is one of the way where we can you know solve this question i'm sure there are other ways as well let me know in the comment section if you you know think there is another better way of solving this a faster way of solving this okay so uh, until then i will see you guys in the next video